Hi, today is Monday. Very soon, in a few hours, in Israel, it will be Tuesday morning. It's a big day in Israel tomorrow. They are going to be voting their new government into office. And it's very fascinating that Israel, the only democracy within a sea of dictatorships and many of the Arab nations, not only has democracy, but many people question why Israel has so many choices. How come there's so many parties in Israel running? And I think that's one of the most beautiful things that Israel allows people to really express themselves. And not only the Jews, the Arabs can go and vote tomorrow. They can have a say. Whether they're going to go and vote, I don't know. But they can go and vote. And this is unbelievable as we're getting ready to celebrate the holiday of freedom of Pesach. Where else is it expressed more than within the Jewish people? Yes, we have a rigorous way of living. God gave us a Torah and told us how we should live our lives. But yet He gave us the freedom and how to apply it in our relationships with all those around us. How we can walk with it with pride or we're going to try to hide it. Are we going to be a light unto the nations and say, look at the way I try to deal with my family and my community with people's rights with the messages and values of Judaism, not the compromise on what's important to us. Look at that Bommel, whose, whose remains were returned after 37 years and the great excitement in Israel that another one of theirs came home, even though he's not alive, but how precious every one of us is. Those are the choices that we make. So when we talk about freedom, what is the choice of freedom you're going to make for yourself this year? We don't live in Israel, we can't vote, but we can make choices of freedom that will affect us and all of our family in the entire Jewish community and perhaps the entire world. So we wish the people of Israel that they choose the best one to protect their citizens and to keep Israeli pride, Jewish pride up on top. And we won't get deterred by those who turn anti-Judaism into anti-Israel, but we'll continue to march forward and support our people there. Am Yisrael Chaim.